So we're going to play a video? I guess so. Play one. What's that one that says feminism in giant letters? Do, 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 it sounds like some very generic bullshit. Yeah, it probably is, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, can't you just, like, say this part aloud? Okay, here we go. So today we're going to talk about feminism and why I'm a feminist, and we're going to start with some definitions. Feminism wow, she's is a movement really for happy equality to be a feminist. between men and women, politically, economically, and socially. Okay. How do you feel about that? I'm okay with it so far, except that's not really the definition a lot of feminists on the internet seem to use. But, you know, if that was, that'd be fine. If you think that women should be treated the same as men in being allowed to run for office and vote, in getting paid the same amount for the same job, and if you mm -hmm. think of women as having equal worth to men, and being equally capable as men, then you're a feminist. <laughs> well, they can't pee standing up, so... I mean, come on. And also, you know, more women attempt suicide, but more men commit suicide, so obviously you're not as good at that either. I think in general, feminism is a movement that's empowering everyone, men and women, to oh, stop yeah. I felt viewing so people empowered based upon their gender and like, putting them in a box and being like, because feminists. you're a woman or because you're a man, you're this, and instead just viewing every single person as a unique individual. The progressive movement um, of... The, whoa, the, no, 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 that's, not, that's not feminism. You're describing something else entirely. Late nineteenth uh, and early twentieth century that was what it made was. a lot of social changes, and one of those was the women's suffrage movement. In uh -huh. 1920, the Nineteenth Amendment was ratified, and that gave women the right to vote. Right now, cool. women can vote in every country except for Saudi Arabia and Vatican City. Something else to think about politically <laughs> is that there's a How mass appropriate. Yeah. Two totally different religions, but still very misogynistic. I'll even agree. Yep. Very yeah, misogynistic. Why are you Catholics uh, so misogynistic, Ben? Catholics like you, you know what I'm saying? Underrepresentation of women in our government. Women occupy 19.3% of the House seats and only 20% of Senate seats. We've never had a female president. Well, what? So and hold on. Only that's, three that's, like, that's voted on by the people. I mean, you know... Including the women who have the right to vote, they still vote for male candidates. There's no law that says that women can't vote. There's not even any legal impediment. It's simply what the people choose. So you could find fault with the people, but there's nothing wrong with the fucking political machinery that's set up now. There's nothing about it that is intrinsically disadvantageous to women. And unless you can demonstrate otherwise, what are you fucking talking about? The nine Supreme Court justices are women. Two of them were recently added within the past, like, ten years. Because they're so... Yeah. And I agree. I'm There's like, more women than black people. But even so, I, well, I, I'll, I'll give them... Black men had the right to vote before women in America. Yep. But, and they were slaves. They went from slaves to being able to vote. But, but that women still couldn't vote until, like, uh, Yeah, and I agree. Know, 40, That's 50 fucked years up. Later. But I, I'm not going to be like... You know, I, for every woman that was put in the Supreme Court, I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. I want them to still be qualified. Bush wanted to put in a woman that was his lawyer, his personal lawyer, and no one thought that was okay. Yeah, you know, and I mean, like, what if uh, Sarah Palin was the first female president? I'm not going to look at it as like, wow, or the Michelle first Bachman. female president. I'm going to look at that as like, wow, another idiot's president. Yay. Yeah, I mean, like... I, I, I'm not going to vote for Hillary. I no. will not. I refuse. I will not. So if she's on the ballot in the general election, I will vote. A th I, I'm going to vote. I'm going to vote for like a third party candidate. What if she's running against Donald Trump? <sighs> I, I, I can't make any commitments until we get to that point. I think the show will get really interesting when we start covering all that shit. Oh, yeah, it should. But, um, you know, I... <sighs> Hillary is more qualified as like an intelligent woman than Sarah Palin, obviously. But she's also a piece of shit, so. So few women who are in elected office positions is sending this subliminal message to young girls. Actually, uh, one of my favorite elected women to office, Marcy Captor. Just throwing that out there. 
girls and even to women who are my age that men do leadership positions, that men run the government. I don't think it's that women don't want to run for office, I think it's just that we're taught growing up that that's not really what women do. The reason that we need feminism is that um, sexism is you something- You know, you can be taught whatever you want growing up. I mean, people tell you all kinds of shit. You don't have to listen to them. You know, that we're I mean, socialized. You you can they, they they do you think I turned out the way that the fucking school wanted me to? No. Do you think they were encouraging me to become a long-haired fucking stoner who rants on the internet? That's not the job I was conditioned for. I fucking made my own goddamn decisions. To accept as young children, and we grow up having these preconceived notions about the world and about gender roles that aren't true. And it's this vicious cycle where young girls are not seeing females in these leadership positions as much, and then they think that that's not even an option for them or something that they want to aspire to. And so, what feminism does is it kind of comes in and it messes up that cycle of inequality economically. So, I think that this is the no, most simple what one. What feminism it's does is picks on should people get paid for their taste the in same video amount games as males movies. for doing the same job. In the United States, the I'm Lawrence sure. of Arabia doesn't pass the Bechdel test, so it's a piece of fucking shit. We're feminists. I'm gonna fuck your ass, and then you're gonna be humble.